Hi, you guys. It's Charlie, a.k.a. Miss Charlotte Zay. It is Tuesday. Oh, my God. I need to pay rent. Well, I got my money order. I guess I could go turn that in later. Anyway, you guys. So today has been pretty much a good day. It has been a good day. But I have to say that it was uh, pretty epic during lunchtime today because a customer decided that they wanted to throw their receipt paper in my face. But instead of just throwing the receipt, they balled it up and threw it in my face. So what happens? I happen to somehow catch the ball and throw it back into the car. I didn't exactly throw it in their face like I wanted to, but I threw it back in there and it landed in the car. And they came back around saying that their sandwich was wrong and then said that I was the one being rude because I threw the receipt paper. I'm like, okay, first of all, maybe we should go back on the tapes and review this because you're the one who threw the receipt in my face because you were upset that I had to charge you for a large fry. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that. But other than that, my day is going great, you guys. I did not let that intimidate me or ruin my day forget that but um I just kinda wanted to come on and tell you guys also that I'm gonna start doing what I call Charlie's rants over on my other YouTube channel and what Charlie's rants is gonna be about is specifically me ranting about things that can either make up see people upset or make them happy that they watch the video so an example of my rant is this People who have not or have never worked in fast food in their entire life, you don't know how it is to work in fast food. I'm not going to say that fast food is hard because it's not hard, but it is probably one of the most stressful jobs out there. Why? Everyone comes in. They're hungry. They want fast food. They want their food to be hot and fresh, of course, which is most of the time what it is but the thing is is that people not everyone but most people who come through fast food places act as if they or act as if their shit does not stink they spend their little one dollar bill and think that it's a thousand dollars and that us fast food workers are supposed to bow down, bow down on our hands or knees because we're serving you. We're supposed to bow down on our hands and knees and beg you and say, oh, you're so welcome and be all super fake because you're buying from us. Now, now, of course, when we work for these jobs, they want us to be perfect. They want us to smile and be happy. And if people throw things in our face and insult us, we're supposed to be continue to smile and be happy. No. No. Now, I've been in fast food for a very long time. Yes. And it's probably not the profession I should be in. But I am not going to go to work every day and be treated like a dog because I work for fast food. I'm not going to do it. So if a customer wants to throw things in my face, sadly, I might respond in a way that is not the supposed to be way to do it you know for the most part I'm very nice to people you know I treat people how they treat me but you know sometimes I, I it's hard to catch it's hard to catch it's hard to hold back what you really want to do so I'm just saying like if you are not if you've never worked in fast food you just don't understand so if you're one of those people who decides you want to go through a drive-thru and be rude for absolutely no reason, or you want to be extra picky about your sandwich, go to the store and buy it. You know, don't sit there and treat other people like shit because you don't know what they might possibly do to your food. You never know. Just saying. You don't know what's going on behind the walls. I'm just saying. You know? It pays to be nice to people. It really does. Of course, I know it's not going to happen. I know there's millions of people in this world. It's going to something that happens every single day. You're never going to get a day where it's just nothing but nice people. There's always going to be somebody complaining or wanting to make a big deal out of something that's nothing, you know. But I'm just saying, like, for those who have not experienced working at fast food and dealing with 
the same annoying people every day. You just don't understand what a toll it can take on you sometimes. That's all I got to say about that. So anyway, you guys, um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. But yes, be sure if you have not already subscribed to my other channel so that you guys can hear some of my rants that I'm going to be, of course, bringing up as the weeks go on. Not sure what day I'm going to do these rants, but it's just going to be rants. Yeah. Um, what else did I want to say? Other than that, you guys, everything is pretty much okay. It's a good day. I already ironed my shirt. I have some time to just sit here and burn off. So, I decided to do a vlog and let you guys know about Charlie's rants and tell you how my day has gone so far. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're all doing well out there. And uh, I will definitely talk to you soon. Alright, you guys know what the deal is. All the bad.